Westworld kills off two major characters just before season finale. Warning, spoilers ahead. Do not proceed if you haven't watched Sunday's episode of Westworld. We are not in a dream. The season 2 penultimate episode of Westworld did not disappoint, and by that, we mean we're shook. The episode opened up with a foreboding speech by the man in black, Ed Harris, as he reflected on the origins of his dark side, tricking the audience into thinking certain other characters would get the night off. We couldn't be more wrong, but that's just Westworld at work. Here's what happened, we finally got a little backstory on the man in black's home life, and the destructive events that led to his wife, Juliet, Sella Ward, killing herself in that bathtub. Check back for E.T.'s interview with Ward later tonight. After putting his drunken wife to bed and admitting, I don't belong to you or this world. I belong to another world. I always have, he slipped his data card into a book in the bedroom and walked away for the night. Juliet, of course, was a heck of an actress and heard the whole thing. She discovered his data card, and all the hideous things he had done in Westworld and decided that instead of being shipped off for alcohol treatment, she was ready to end it all. She packaged the card in a music box for her daughter, Emily, Katya Herbers, and headed off to the bathroom. That data card came back into play in Westworld when Emily caught up to her father and tried to get them rescued. When Emily mentioned she got a hold of his profile, however, the man in black went berserk, shooting their rescuers and then his daughter. Assuming she was a host sent by Ford, Anthony Hopkins, to lead him astray. FKU, Ford. FKU. You got sloppy. You overreached. He yelled after executing his daughter. I never told anyone about my profile. The only way she could have known is you. You gave yourself away, he continued, before finding his data card in Emily's hand, and realizing what he had done. Killing his daughter had the man in black questioning everything, including whether he was actually himself. Overcome by emotion, we thought the man in black might become the episode's next victim. But he wasn't. The last few minutes of the episode took us back to Dolores, Evan Rachel Wood, and Bad Teddy, James Marsden, who seemed to heartbreakingly understand everything that had happened to him. I remember the sound of their voices, the chill in the room. Mostly I remember you. I remember worrying you were cold. I wanted to reach out, touch you, protect you. From that day forward, I never wanted to leave your side, which is why this is so hard, he said, drawing his gun. You don't want to hurt me, Teddy, Dolores warned before she realized it wasn't her Teddy was after, and we realized the parallels between Teddy and Juliet. I could never hurt you, Dolores. I'll protect you until the day I die. I'm sorry. I can't protect you anymore, he replied, turning the gun on himself and pulling the trigger. Eagle-eyed fans predicted we'd see Teddy's demise this season after catching a glimpse of him dead in the water with other hosts in the season premiere. But where does this leave us for the season finale? And will we ever reach the door? We'll have to wait until next week to find out. The season 2 finale of Westworld airs Sunday. June 24th at 9 p.m. ET slash PT on HBO. Watch ET's interview with Marsden below. More from ET, Westworld stars Anne McLarnan on his character's huge moment and if we'll ever reach the door, exclusive, Fanti Newton reflects on her punishing, standout Westworld episode and earning equal pay, exclusive, Westworld, is this Delo's secret project.